Come on, buddies! Yes, I know, I'm here. They know too. Nope. See, you can shoot him out of the air, it's so cool. Quick, kick him all the way down. Somehow he missed it. Boink. <laughs> I love these guys. Hey. Take this. More money. Can you please give me some ammo? I'm in desperate need of something. That's why I summoned you guys. Oh! Man. How much is that stupid supplier guy paying you guys to just run around with money? Are they coming again? Infinite Horde? Infinite Horde. Eh. Whatever. We gotta keep on trucking along. Do do do. It won't budge. It's gotta be locked from the other side. Or rusted completely shut. Or something. Hey! No. Granddad, don't mess with that dynamite. Stop! How did she not die? Hey, do your big titties protect you from explosions? Hey. Hey. Hey! Oh my god. Her ass is impervious. Turn around. Oh. This is the worst makeout session behind a church I've ever had. Hello. All right, the three family insignias of the dead ringers. Hmm? Okay. Turn it by three. Turn it by four. It's this whole thing, you know. Turn it by four. It's this whole annoying puzzle. We're just gonna light them all up. That's the easiest way of doing things. Do do do, and do do do. I win. Thank you for the green glob of goo. I'm happy now. I'm so happy. Okay. To the church. To the church, I say. Enough of your yelling. I'm trying to go to church, you heathen. Open up. It won't open. There's a round hole. <gasps> oh my god. You're calling me during the super scary music? Again, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get Help in. me, Ingrid. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Oh god. god. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Yeah, it's not a lock well, pick no use standing around. situation. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank goodness we know, uh, what's-her-name is in this whole thing. Hey! I like how this ugly peasant woman is now showing up. I like how I'm calling her ugly peasant woman as if the other peasant woman wasn't, like, hideous as well. Whoop. You know, though, there are, you know, that guy with the gray hair over there is kind of the, oh, God. He's kind of the ugly peasant guy. This guy's kind of the regular, everyday, normal dude peasant guy. And then that guy who looks like he uh, runs like a dance club is like the beautiful village guy. Not the bald guy. Kick him in the chest and his head blows up. Video games. But no, seriously, have you noticed how, like, freaking awesome this level design is? Like, you go up this big hill, you go down, you go up, you come out of the well, it's all really cool. And again, the little touches of, like, shoot the bell and these guys show up, it's great, I love it. But let's keep going. Let's try to find our way out of here. No. Hey, guess what? Kick you in the butt. <laughs> oh, poor lady. This guy, he, that's the guy I was talking about. Mr. Pretty Man. Oops. Don't discard. Never discard. Hop over here. Hop over here. Come on. Hop over here. I'll ask you but one more time. Okay, I'm coming over there. You ass. He knew. He knew I was Mr. Impatient. Now, let's see. Do I really want to take the time to go all the way back? Oh, right. I forgot about something. Closure of the church. Oh, no. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Lewis is our top priority. The American agent, a distant second. Mm. You see, they uh, they really convey some really good attitude in these 
logs and stuff. I mean, saying a distant second, that's really cool. What Lewis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the very end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world will become a totally different place than what the Lord Sadler envisions. At all costs, we mustn't, mustn't? Let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl to ensure that the agent does not get to her. I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It's just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody left that will come looking for the girl. Interesting. So, something called Del Lago. Hello. Yes, by the way, that's what I remembered. There's a big, ugly snake in some of these crates that has eggs. Chicken eggs, more specifically, because we're trying to get all cockatrice up in this ass. Okay. There we go. We've officially done it. We don't need to do it anymore. And my gun is completely empty. I have more freaking eggs than I do ammo. Jesus. Well, that's not entirely true. I do technically have five bullets and three eggs. Okay, garbage man. Here we go. Just try it. Double dare you. Through this cool door. Okay. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit more, I don't know, horror. I guess you could say more creepy cr oh my god do I not have I do not have the fucking flash grenade damn it if I did it would kill all these crows instantly let's try this god damn it why did I not hold on to that flash grenade there we go I think one got away just so he could tell the other birds Got him. <laughs> Wasted some of my very precious ammo just for that. Yes, yes. Oh, there's the flash grenade. Yes. It's all the money. All the money. That's probably fucking with my accuracy. Gosh darn it. Oh no. Okay. Handgun ammo, I swear. This game was really banking on you to hold on to that handgun. Then again, why wouldn't you? I don't know. Just because you're some kind of crazy guy who's played this game way too many times and needs any kind of variation to bring some kind of joy to your life? Potentially. Hmm, what's that sound? Ooh, that sound. Can't you sound that sound? That was a terrible thing. What's behind this door? Looks like the gate's securely shut. Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. Hmm. Hmm. I can hear a dog screaming in the background. Woo woo! So much money, so much money. Let's go down here and see what I came to see. Oh, I can't shoot that one. Okay. Down we go. Whoop! Perfect. This is exactly where I wanted. You see, going backwards would have been a complete waste of time because, lo and behold, look who's down here completely setting up shop. My goodness. My goodness. Hello, my dear and lovable friend. Got some rare yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. I see you've not uh, shot enough medallions. Like I promised, go claim your special gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. That's right. The Punisher. This will blast a hole through two enemies. The specialized gun. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Thank you. The Punisher. What are you selling? What am I selling? What am I selling? Ooh, I'm tempted to sell the Punisher, but I'm going to hold on to it just in case. That's not the handgun that I'm uh, looking for. And that's not a Star Wars joke. I'm actually not looking for that handgun. What are you buying? Although I really could... Hmm? I could upgrade it if I so desired, but we're not going to right now. But I'll save just in case. Just in case. There we go. Magnificent. Okay. 
All right, hello everybody, I'm back, and uh, I'm actually recording this on a different day from yesterday, uh, from when I last recorded. Uh, I, I took a little bit of a break, which turned into, mm, I'm kind of hungry, which turned into, mm, I'm pretty tired now. I probably shouldn't, uh, shouldn't play Resident Evil 4 on a real tired brain. My commentary won't be very good. These fish are running into invisible walls, these poor bastards. Hey, enough with the jumping. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> that fish took a bullet! <laughs> <laughs> he took a bullet just to show how weak this stupid uh, submachine gun is. My goodness, just fish can walk it off. Hey, I'll take that though, thank you. Nice to know I'm not wasting all of my ammo. Um, but anyway, so with it being a new day, I was thinking a little bit about Resident Evil 4, and I never really went into why I really like it. You know, I was kind of fanboying over it quite a bit. Um, one of the few games that I will actually gush over. Uh, but I wanted to take time and explain kind of why I really like this game. So, oh, hello. Remember when I said I'd leave one crow alive? I lied. <laughs> oh, take that. The early bird hands over the money. Sweet. Anyway, uh, so first of all, it, this probably is going to be taken for granted by most modern audiences who wouldn't know. But uh, this camera angle, the over-the-shoulder thing, was pretty revolutionary for the time. You know, at least in Resident Evil, uh, they were all fixed camera perspectives before this game. Um, I remember I even bought, I think it was Resident Evil Outbreak, and it had fixed camera perspectives, rather than these little tanky controls that you have for Leon here. Um, and I was pretty pissed. I was like, man, this game feels like it, like shit. I hated it, because I was so used to this. And then going into a fixed camera perspective was really wonky for me. Um, ooh. Also, you can clearly see through this gap in the in the door that there's nothing in here. Or if there is something in here, it's like huddled in the corner. Um, so the camera makes the gameplay a lot more personal. I really like that. Um, I just like the varied settings in this game. It's pretty awesome, the environments that you go through. And I mean, for right now, we've pretty much only seen the same kind of brown villages. Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, kind of this wooden environment, but trust me, as we go through the game, this place goes through uh, some significant scenery and set piece changes. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Uh, also, look at that. Look at that. What does this say? Heads up. Ha ha ha. Oh, you do so funny. I love this boulder section so much that I'm glad we're doing it again. Um, also, the... The upgrading of your weapons is pretty cool. I know in the other games you could kind of like... I mean, like in Resident Evil 3, if you beat Nemesis, you can get some upgrades for your weapons, or you can get like really strong weapons, I think. You can definitely equip some new stuff to your weapons, or at least a couple different kinds. Uh, but this is the first one to directly have like a shopkeeper and kind of use a currency system, which is pretty cool. Uh, they also tone down severely the puzzles, I think. Uh, again, I've only seen Let's Plays of Resident Evil 1 through 3. I haven't played them myself, uh, but it definitely seems like they toned down on the severity of the puzzles in this game. Uh, I really like the map. I never got to show you guys the map before, but the map is pretty cool. Um, although the submissions, I don't really remember the submissions really happening anywhere else aside from this little beginning area with the, you know, the blue medallion thing. Uh, but no, it shows you all the stuff, all the typewriters and whatever. Uh, this is actually where we began right here. That's, uh, that's the first cottage thingy where we went over the bridge. So we went all this way, and we still got all this rest of the way to go. And look, it even shows you your little, uh, target thing to go to. And this huge-ass thing here that probably won't be of any importance at all. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Like that a lot. Even shows you these little, uh, like you can get rid of the merchant, the submissions, who cares, typewriters. That's pretty nifty. That's pretty cool. You don't need to go and try to find a map. You already kind of have this digital sort of secret agent map, and I really like that. Um, also, this attache case thing is pretty cool. They replaced the um, storage boxes from the first three games, which is pretty nice, uh, just to have it on you, you know, to switch weapons on the fly. It's just, there's a lot of little conveniences and uh, <laughs> little, like, quality of life changes that they implemented in this game, and I really appreciate that. It makes it way more action-y, but also, you know, it doesn't take away from the basic sort of, you know, Resident Evil experience. I mean, obviously there's going to be purists who say, like, only the first Resident Evil game is, like, a good Resident Evil game. Um, but to that, I'd say that probably, again, even though I haven't played it, I would 
think that Resident Evil 3 would probably be the best Resident Evil game, just because of uh, how fucking disturbing uh, Nemesis is. I mean, we will find some reoccurring characters and villains in this game, but uh, Nemesis is just... Whoo boy. <laughs> I gotta I gotta play through Resident Evil 3 at some point. Uh, I mostly wanted to choose this game because this was my first introduction to Resident Evil. Um, and it's a lot of people's first inter introduction, really. Um, but I would definitely not have a problem going back and playing through Resident Evil, you know, 1 through 3. They're remaking uh, Resident Evil 2, and if they do as good of a job as they did with the Resident Evil 1 remake, then I think we're gonna have a little masterpiece there. Goodbye.